strategy hello youtube welcome to the office this is the fifth episode so glad that you guys could join me this evening um yes uh when i say today has been one of those days today has been one of those days but i am here and i am so happy to be um on the fifth episode with you guys um, to come and just, you know, have a corner where we have some um, interesting talk um, and uh, tackle some tough uh, conversations. Uh, hello, Sonny. How you doing? And we also um, can just, you know, introduce some uh, uh, small business small businesses to you and also we can introduce a artist um hopefully everything goes as planned tonight and everybody comes through the guests um yeah so i'm excited about that um a couple of things out the way before i continue um i wanted to introduce angel wing sauce and blood of jesus sauce um you guys this is my product good product great rib sauce great wing sauce um all month long until the beginning of 2021 uh january 2021 i will be um having a 50 percent off sale so if you haven't if you haven't had a chance to order your sauce please do so uh dm me at angel wing sauce um on ig or you can dm me at blood of jesus sauce um or ig as well um yes yeah, so i'm super excited about that uh, next we will have uh let me just get something out the way here um people we are still in the pandemic unfortunately we haven't been in the clear yet the pandemic is still going please still be cautious please still be mindful uh, please wear your mask please sanitize your hands please wash your hands um and uh Continue to be mindful. I want everyone to stay safe. Um, so I'm hoping and praying that everyone um, continues to do so. Um, this evening, like you said, uh, like I said, uh, every uh, show we have a uh, one um, small business and we have one artist. Um, so I want to give a second for uh, my first guest to come on, the small business um, chef Tim Douglas. Um, if you are present, Chef Tim, could you please send a request so we can bring you on um, this evening? I'm so excited to have you come on and speak with us. So just let me know, uh, Chef Tim, when you're available. I'll give you a second. Yeah, so we're going to give um, Chef Tim a moment to uh, come in. Yes, guys, when you do shows live, this is what, you know, I try to do, I have to do the show live so that I can upload it to my YouTube. And sometimes it gets a bit tricky, but um, yes, this is what comes when you're recording live. This is the things that come. <laughs> when you are recording live so whichever one of my guests get here first is who we'll bring on we're gonna give them a second to arrive you know um life happens it just is what it is i just don't like silence i like to play a little music while we're waiting for them i'll go back to the song that i like <laughs> I put that shit on the Bible. I put that shit on the Bible. I put 
that shit on the bite, boy. I put that shit on the bite. I pull up on niggas with pipes. I'm getting high at that pipe. I drop a deal in the Sprite, though. Walk on the run like a Michael. I put that shit on the bite, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. I put that shit on the bite, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. Ride right again, nigga, we psycho. I'm fucking on niggas like Michael. Get rid of the wet like I'm lipo. Pull up shooting the sound like July 4th. I drop a deal in the Sprite, though. Like, voila, magic. Where's that money? I gotta have it. Where's that cushy? I gotta have it. Walk on the moon like I'm NASA. Hey, play with me, it's gonna get tragic. All of these questions she asking, hey, how it's gonna shoot if it's plastic? Early street look like the Carter, hey, ballin' on niggas like Maverick. Yeah, I'm getting faded like Barbara, hey, big ass rifle in the mattress. Whip up in your face like I'm Subway. Don't come in the bricks, it's a blind way. No man back my niggas with gunplay. No man back my niggas with gunplay. Swimming and go like I'm Michael, hey, flashing like I'm in the Olympics. You know when it comes to that money, hey, a nigga gotta go and get it. I pull up on niggas with rifles. I'm getting high in that pipe. I drop a deal in the Sprite, though. Walk on the moon like a Michael. I put that shit on the pipe, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. I put that shit on the pipe, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. I pull up on niggas with rifles. I'm getting high in that pipe. I drop a deal in the Sprite, though. Walk on the moon like a Michael. I put that shit on the pipe, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. I put that shit on the pipe, boy. I put that shit on the pipe. I took off on him like Nitro. Diamond dance on me like Mike. Yeah. You know this cuz that I smoke on. Yeah. Like Mike, when he gets the title. Got a bad bitch waiting on my arrival. You, know. you already know, gang slide with a rifle. Yeah. Me and Mike can't kick it like Ryan. Yeah. Where I'm from, they really gon' try you. Take my dad's life, go to church with a Bible. Before you get hit somewhere, that's vital. When it come to lean, keep eight like a spider. Just for the eight, I can't get high. Bro got a death, can't get high. Really don't matter, cuz it keep that fight. Fight, get that heat. All right, that was Walk on the Moon by Mr. Tricky Jetson. Good artist right there. Really good artist. Uh, play one more song while we get... Let me see. How do I get this? Uh... Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Okay, no problem. I'm going to play some music while you get yourself ready, okay? Got this shit important, shit important. Look, I'm getting hot in the mortgage. 28 Taliban, early street, look like the fool. Just cut the plug off, yeah. Rather do that shit, call the shots, ring off, yeah. You gon' hit them shits and pour speed up the pot, eh. Hey. Sit with your clock, eh. Hey. I'm on the clock, eh. Hey. Believe it or not, eh. Hey. Speed up the pot, speed up the pot, speed up the pot. Hey, 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 hey,
Yes, that was the pot. That's one of my favorite songs by Mr. Tricky Jetson. All uh, right. All right, Mr. Jetson, I'm going to bring you on. Is it a way you can send me a request? Um. <laughs> oh, hold it. Is it a way you can send me a request so we can um, get started this evening? Happy to have you here. Um, if you don't know how to send a request, let me know. And I'll try to send you one. I guess we'll play some more music while I wait. Alrighty, I got you here. Yo. How you doing? What's good? Oh, you know everything is good, man. It's a lot going on in the world. How you doing? Doing good, chilling at the crib. I'm so glad you were able to join me this evening. I was getting a little worried. I was like, what is going on? I'm so happy that you're able to join me this evening for this interview. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't doing shit. I was just yeah. my shit together. Okay. You know, um, you coming from my hometown, you know what I'm saying? I think, uh, I believe it was one day you I don't know if you hit me up inbox me about a song um it was like the promotional you was doing and you was hitting me up about a song and I actually checked the song out and let me tell you when I look when I listen to music because you know these day in this day and time everybody is um a rapper a singer or whatever so I, I, I probably give a song probably about 30 seconds and if I'm not hooked in 30 seconds I don't continue to listen but when I heard your song it was like I was hooked do you understand like I knew you were something real like, I had to get you on the line I appreciate okay. it. Yeah. yes exactly so um started off let me just say this um I've become a fan. I've become a follower. And, Appreciate it. Um, yeah, most definitely. And looking at your uh, following, you've got a pretty good following. You know, you have a pretty big following, a pretty consistent following. Would you say so? Yeah, I got to get I gotta get in more jumping. Though. I think I got, I got a lot of people, but it's like um, a lot of people, like, probably not as active as they used to be on like Instagram and stuff like that. You get on home? Yeah. I always have this one like Instagram, so it just always built up. You know what I mean? So Yeah, a definitely. People, a lot of people still interact, but I know a lot of people from when they first started, so I mean, it's cool though, but you know what I mean? They'll catch it whenever they get back on they get back up here or something. Yeah, no, you have a lot of following. You have a good little following. You have a, a good, consistent following. I was noticing that about you. So what I'm going to say, I'm one of those followers. And what we know as your followers, as people that are followers of Tricky Jackson and a fan, um, we know you're from Norfolk. Mm -hmm. We know you went to Booger T. Washington High School. Yeah, um, we know you have a daughter named Aaliyah. That's the apple of your eye. Right. Um, we know that you have about a little over 7,000 monthly viewers on Spotify, I would say. Monthly yeah. listeners. Yeah. 
I just got that done today too. I just posted it here seven seven thousand like four hundred and seven, I think. Something like that. Yes, congratulations on that. Uh, we know you're a Capricorn, and we know that your flow is unmatched. Now, Mr. Tricky, tell the people, the viewers, people that are watching this evening or that will be watching in the future here, uh, tell us something about uh, you that we don't know. Tell us something about you that the viewers and the people that don't know. Go ahead and give us some exclusive. Tell us who you are, what inspires you. Uh, my favorite rapper, Wayne. I don't know if a lot of people might know that, but Wayne, my favorite rapper. Oh, the people around me inspire me for real. It ain't really nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. I just get motivated, like, to try to get out of the situation we in. You feel me? Yes. Most that's, definitely. That's my main, Joe. I like the Ravens football. I think you stopped. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, phone. no. All right, you back. Is there what? anything about you, that, anything else you want us to know about you, Mr. Jackson? Oh. You know, things people don't know. How was it like growing up for you? Just give us the fans, the people that are following some insight. I was like the only child for real at first. So, I mean, my dad had uh, got a, had another, like, I got a little brother, but I ain't seen him for a long time, probably like 10 years or something. You know what I mean? So, but I only seen him until he was like three or four, you feel me? So he probably like 14 or something. I ain't okay. But I ain't seen my dad in the same amount of time, you feel me? So both of them. <clears throat> but other than that, I mean, raising Norfolk, Sherwood. Um, I went to Norview and Booker T. I went to Norview High School, too, for one. Okay. And then I went to Booker T for the rest of them. And then, um, what else? Shit, not, I don't know. I just mainly do music for real, every day. You do some fire music. Now, the song that I love, The Pot, now, I'm going to tell you, I fell in love with that song. I'll be listening to that in the bathroom when I put my music on, when I put my makeup on, right? Uh, there's this, since I got you on the line tonight, there's this, uh, the verse that you got. It's probably about four or five lines. Like, I wrote it down. It's the verse that goes 357 on that, 357, oh, that's so I got that nine, two. It's up with him, you fuck with him, then you can die too. <laughs> FB, turn your ass to Wendy's. Boy, don't tip me out your window like a drive through Now, can you break that down? Because I, that line right there, I love that. But I just, I need you. You know, it's, it's no, nobody like you. Can you break that that down, those three lines, what that means? What they mean? Yeah. Like I'm, a little, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Five, seven, oh, that's odd. I got the nine, too. I said, oh, that's odd. Like, oh, ah, uh, okay. And that's a gun. And a nine, okay. another gun. You feel me? So I said, three, okay. five, seven. Well, I got that in my hand, and it's odd. I got the nine, too, in my other hand. Okay. Got you. Yeah, what? It's up with him. You fuck with him. You could die, too. That means, like, if I got a problem with him and you always with him, you must got a problem with me, too. You feel me? Okay. Got you. And I say, what? If Ben's turn your ass to Wendy's, I'm talking about yeah. the, uh, Lasers. Oh. Beans. That's an F oh. beam, you feel me? An infrared beam, like Wendy's, the freckles. Got you. And okay. F beans turn you as the Wendy's, but not tip me out the window like a drive through. So I put the Wendy's in the drive through, you feel me? Okay, got you. Yeah, I just wanted to know that because uh, I love that verse. And I love that line that you got. Uh, all I see is me. I got that mirror flow. I'm telling you, that one right there. Yeah. You took that's like one of my favorite balls on that song, though. I'm, I'm telling you, huh? I don't even, I don't even be writing for real. I really just be rapping. Like we okay. always just have a studio, so I just be in there rapping. I probably wow. rap and then just sit around rap some more. You feel me? Wow. I write too, That's though, but um, like certain songs, like if we just in the vibe, I don't really write the song. Uh -huh. Like that last. That last, that little singing part, that little Addy part I had up there, I had wrote that with my homeboy at his crib, um, like a couple days before, you feel me? Okay. Uh, not to no beat, I don't think, I don't even remember, but I wrote it at somebody else's house. So then at the end of the song, I wanted to switch the song up a little bit, you feel me? I was trying to just make the song sound different a little bit instead of just ending it. That's why I threw the little, tried to throw the little auto-tune at the end. Okay. 
But yeah, I got a distribution deal with Empire with that song. Uh, what? Uh, Congratulations. Because mm -hmm. I know it had like 10,000 spins in like 24 days, right? Yeah. It got yeah. all together. Now I think I got like 80,000 streams. It got oh, like, wow. I can't see my Apple Music for some reason. I don't know why. They don't show me like the mm -hmm. exact numbers, but Spotify is at like 39,000. So I'm, me personally, I'm just assuming Apple got more. Because I know, I don't know people that got Spotify. You get what I'm saying? Okay. That's the only yeah. thing I be posting the Spotify numbers because I can't really see the Apple numbers. But gotcha. everybody I know got Apple. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But Spotify yeah. really just another engine that is running through. So I'm in my head, I'm assuming Apple is, I don't really find out till like the end of the month or when I get, you get what I'm saying? So I'm just going off that. But right now I got another song I'm about to do called Flashed Out. That's the song I'm about to do now. Okay. My homeboy made the beat, uh, Crook 28. So okay. I'm about to do that. I'm about to try to shoot a video for that. Uh, not this week, next week for sure. But yeah, that's my next song. I'm going to try to do it uh, because I got the distribution deal with Empire with only one song. Like that mm -hmm. pop song, you feel me? They had heard the song. Um, and then they hit me up and we were talking and shit. And then, but I'm trying to see if I'm going to do the second song or should I, because I learned how they, you get what I'm saying? Like, I kind of learned what they did, you get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I probably don't got the the pull and the reach to, do you get what I'm saying? To get it all in them spots. So that's why yeah. I just want to use them again, you get what I'm saying? Until yeah. I can get further enough to get, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get a decent amount of people to listen to it, like the listeners every day. So then I'd be, you get what I'm saying? Oh, you got people listening. You got people listening. I think it's what, like 12,000 views right now on YouTube for the pot? Yeah, the pot got like 12,000 views. Yeah. I just You're dropped another video too called Free Love Marvin. And so I just made that YouTube page though. Like at first I was just letting the video, because usually I be trying to just like, link up with like one video person you feel me and then try to just um use them like you get what i'm saying i don't like really using a lot of different people i mean it's cool but i'd rather just use one one person you feel me so i yeah, just be trying to build their channel up too you get what i'm saying so that's why i just started my own channel the pot was the first video i put on my channel you know oh what I'm so but i got all them other songs like if i put a song on uh, united masters it's going to go on, like, uh, Instagram and all that stuff. It's going to be on YouTube, too. But it's really – I really didn't put it up there. That's just up there because of uh, what I put it through the streaming services. You get what I'm saying? Like, me okay. personally, I only uploaded four videos to the channel. Even though it's a bunch of videos on the channel, they coming from, like, uh, when I just uploaded. You get what I'm saying? I get yeah. paid for that, too, though, but – they ain't really the main video. They ain't my main aim. You get what I'm saying with the videos. So I'm just trying to chill for her. my birthday oh, comes in January. You can't chill, Tricky. Your stuff is fire. I'm telling you, I don't like uh, all types of stuff. Your music is amazing. I mean, I hear the creativity. I hear the professionalism. I hear the grind. I mean, you can you put your heart you put your heart and your soul into it. It sounds like it, you know. So it's like. You can't do nothing but win with that. With, with that being said, I was going to ask you, um, you were saying that, what did you say inspires your, your, uh, your lyrics? Because your lyrics are really catchy. Your hooks are really catchy. Um, your be, flow I don't is know, for real. I just be rapping, for real, whatever comes to my head. But uh, I get my uh, motivation from, like, Wayne, for real. Okay. I, mean, I don't study him, but I do kind of, but it's just like, it ain't really that hard. I, don't, I ain't going to say it ain't that hard, but you get what I'm saying? Just If you just always doing it, you just going to get better. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just something I like to do, so I just learn how to get good at it. Got you. Now, what's some of your um your goals for your music career? Do you want to push to get mainstream? Are you trying to just uh do it kind of for the hood, underground? Are you, are you cool with that? Or what's some of your goals that you have for your music career? I mean, I want to go mainstream, you get what I'm saying? But I ain't got to be, like, no, um, nobody crazy big. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that would be awesome, perfect. Or, But, dang, that's not my, like, goal, my aim. You get what I'm saying? My aim is, like, this is, I like to do it. Anyway, you know what I mean? So, everything else is just, like, 
gonna be positive. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like it ain't like a job. It's not like I'm at a job I don't want to do. I'm just yeah. getting paid. I want to do it. You get what I'm saying? So yes. I want to just get better. Just be bad. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like it's people that I never heard of that is probably filthy rich for a rap. You get what I'm saying? And then when I finally run into him, he already rich. I never heard of him ever. Right. It's people like that. Yeah, Ooh. that happens a lot. Uh, Little baby was like that. He by was the time paying. these people blow up, they're already rich for real. Yeah. By the time Little Baby blew up and pop, he was already rich for real. Like, yeah. He been buzzing in the city. I just might not know who he was, or somebody else might not know who he was, but you get what I'm saying? People know who he is already. Like MGK, yep. he a perfect example. White, the white boy MGK. Uh -huh. I used to, I used to, because he respected me, so I used to pay attention to him. But people aren't really paying attention to him yet. You get what I'm saying? But well, he just had like a yeah. whole following. You get what I'm saying? Like a certain amount of people probably were just like, you get what I'm saying? They just rallied them all the way up. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. That's how it goes. Um, let me ask you as far as with um, you know, and I asked I had had Mr. King wait on uh I think it was about two weeks ago. Anyway. And yeah, Kingway. You know Kingway? Yeah, that's Chris? the boy. Okay. I thought that's you followed me. Uh huh. The mixtape about um the mixtape I'm talking about with the song Flash out of that I'm about to do. I got a song with that called Lick Read. Kingway up there. Oh really? Oh, I gotta go check it's that really out. The it's video too, though, but uh, it, I don't know what happened with the video. It's a long story. Nothing, nothing yeah. between us. It was just a long story. But everything's oh. good. Everything. You know what I mean? Okay. We are gonna get some more songs in there too, though. Yeah, he's hot. Um, so what I was gonna ask you is, um, I was asking him too. Uh, I believe it wasn't last week, maybe two weeks ago. Um, the current state of hip hop and uh, rap right now. You know, when we were younger, um, how it was. You know, it was a little different. It was a way to express yourself. It was kind of. It was more. Fun. But give me your take on what you think uh, hip hop is right now in rap. Do you have anything that you worry about when it comes to getting mainstream or anything? Um, you know, as far as continuing to be a rapper, like how do you feel hip hop is right now? What do you think the state is? I mean, me personally, I like it. Because it's like, back in the day, man, back in the day, to me, it's like people would put out a song or two. You get what I'm saying? I mean, like, they, uh -huh. they single or whatever. And then, you get what I'm saying? A song, then the album. Like, nowadays, people are dropping songs, like Ride Wave and people that I listen to all the time, they dropping new songs every day or a new video or something. I mean, it's cool. I like it. You still got okay. people that's going to do the same thing. Like, Jeezy just dropped the album with a single. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He been dropping a bunch of songs back to back to back. He just dropped the big single. Then, you get what I'm saying? Drop another joint and then drop the album. Like, yeah. People do that, too, still. You feel me? But, yeah. like, Lil Baby, Young Boy, they going to just drop songs back to back to back. You get what I'm saying? Because like, it's really, like, once you start doing that, it's like, all right. You get what I'm saying? Now, that's what I'm used to you doing. Mm -hmm. I'm used to Jeezy doing that, so that's that's regular. You get what I'm saying? Now Jeezy just mm -hmm. came out back to back going crazy, then just stopped. Like, damn, what? The, you get what I'm saying? Like Drake, yeah. Drake don't got to make no music. He make one song for the year. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And chill, like, cause that's what he is anticipated. Like, so he can just chill. Now, if he not Drake, he made that one song and just chill for another year. It's like, you get what I'm saying? You can't. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that, that's what it's about for me. I like it. Like, you love it. Um, yeah, you I love it. it. You yeah, love it. Yeah, okay. It's like, it's like exercise to me for real. Yeah. You're so real. do you have any worries when it comes to rap? Because, you know, like, um, not to bring in the negative, but, you know, I've just been reading, you know, um, a lot of rappers are getting, you know, killed. And, oh, yeah. A lot of, you know, just negative stuff is happening when it comes to hip-hop and rap. But do you have any worries? Do you think that uh, the government might try to come after you, you know, because they come for a lot of the black rappers? Do you think any beef with Brew, uh, would people try to come for you? Do you have any worries, anything that, would, you know, that you uh, that bothers you when it comes to that type of, uh, when, to that career? 
I mean, uh, nah, not really, because, I mean, I don't know. Just the way I am, it's just like, I don't know. Whatever's going to happen, going to happen. You feel me? Like, that's what, that's what me and my homeboys always talk about. That's just how I am. You feel me? Like, yeah. like you know pork. I, I eat pork sometimes. I don't care. You feel me? Not like I don't care, but I'm saying, like, you get what I'm saying? I could go yeah. get hit by a car. I am not about to stop doing something because of what might happen. Anything can happen. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, so. Mm-hmm. It's but well, I can yeah, stay in I the house you. all day and then die in here somehow. Yeah. yeah hold up. So, so like, you like a soldier. <laughs> you just you ready for war. Like you just ready. You gonna do what you I ain't even scared. Yeah, I'm just I'm just doing me and I'm just gonna be so chill anyway. You're gonna have to really do not you gonna have to do something to me, but I'm gonna be chill, so you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm chilling like smoking or I'm whatever, so you're gonna have to really you get what I'm saying? I'm just gonna have to be like, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I have to feel some type of way for real. You get what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. gonna be hard to make me feel some type of way. I don't give a damn. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So you just kind of like you know you just doing what you you just doing what you do and you know you ain't worried about the rest. Like you ain't worried about all the stuff that come with it. You just gonna do what you called to do. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what everybody should do. Yeah, I think everybody true. did that. This should be perfect. Yeah, I'm telling you, but it's so <laughs> scary with that rap game, though, because that boy, yeah. that yeah, they come with those whole Oh yeah, I was signed to a little record label before and everything, though. I oh really? What? Yeah, I was in 2015. No, nah, yeah, 15. Uh-huh. I was in Atlanta for like a year. Oh, okay. Like a bunch of shows, probably like 60. Wow. I opened up for a lot of people too. Who's some of the people that you open for? Oh shit, the Beagles, uh, Rich Obi Kwan, Yelp, uh, Boosie, Ray Sharma, or, or no, no, um, was it Tr- Trouble? Um, oh. Trouble, Trouble, uh. A bunch of people for real. Then we did the little streets fast down there. That had Pee Wee Long. They had a lot of people out there. T Pain. That's when Snooty Wild was hot. Okay. Snooty Wild, Gil Gotti. Um, a lot of people. Rocco. It was a lot of people. Mainly Atlanta people for real. Like Atlanta just, you know what I mean? Atlanta just show love. Like they just be all at the same shit. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If they ain't perform, they'll still be there. Like it's just now, the only thing that you did, Atlanta, um, I was gonna ask you about this situation. I don't you don't have to respond if you don't feel comfortable. But the whole now for me, I feel like that this beef that has brewed with the Quanzo Rondo and King Bond situation, it reminds me of I think I was about ten or eleven years old, but with the whole Biggie and Tupac. I feel mm. like this history repeating itself because I feel like this beef is not going to end unless somebody on that side is gone. Now, I just want your take on it. Do you feel like this is like a new beef as far as like would you equate it to the Tupac and Biggie beef? I mean, not really because that it just I don't even really going to speak on it, but it just happened so quick, so not really because they, they was like known beefing, you feel me? Like that video, you know what I mean? That was different. Like it just happened so quick. This was like they ain't even have that happened. So they happened two separate times. You get what I'm saying? That happened at mm-hmm. just cr- one crazy altercation. You get what I'm saying? And now a bunch of crazy stuff going around it. But the big man pop shit was. I was young though, but it just seemed like it was way big. You get what I'm saying? Like everybody know they beefing. Ain't nobody really right. know they beef. You get what I'm saying? But. The aftermath is probably like as crazy. You get what I'm saying? Like this shit crazy, but right. yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna hold you, Mr. Tricky. Uh, I'm so happy that you came on tonight. Now, before I let you go, um, you know I've been playing some of your music while I was waiting on you to come oh, yeah, on. Yeah, so. I heard you there. <laughs> I was gonna ask you to play some music. Shit. Okay, well go ahead. You can play that tonight before we go, and then I got a game. Out. I no, got I just a small game. A whole new mix tape. You got a song that you want to play for a second? Um, I can probably right I gotta have to pull it up or something. I don't know how I can play it. Oh, you want can me you, to pull it up? Is it on you YouTube? Can play it. 
It's yeah, on YouTube. You can, uh, yeah, I think it is on YouTube. Yeah, you probably gotta put it in my name, Tricky Jackson. Uh, fourth quarter pressure. Okay. Uh, you can play shit. Um, what's a song number three? I think that's like a slow solo song. Or oh, unless you want to hear the flashed out song, I can let you hear the flashed out song. Matter of fact, that's in that single about the push if you ain't never heard that. Okay, no, I don't think I did. That's the one you got on the Instagram. Was that the one you put on Instagram today? Uh, today, what I put on Instagram? Today? You put fourth, well, no, you put apply pressure today. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter pressure, yeah, no, nah, that's a whole little mixtape. Uh, okay. Um, but you could probably put in Tricky Jackson flashed out or just flashed out. Okay, hold on. Now, is there anything you want people to know before we, um, while I'm pulling this up, anything else, anything you have coming up, any, uh, I don't, I don't know if you already got Subscribe to my, my YouTube, Tricky Jetson. That's where all my new shit dropping at. I'm on Instagram. Yes, and he is hot, y'all. I'm telling you now. Might drop something new, though. I'm trying to drop a video a week. That's my goal. I just dropped a video, though, called uh, Free Love Marvin. That's probably out there, too. Oh, free little Marvin! I love yeah. that song. I listen to that. that yeah. My my so, homeboy that made that beat, he made the flashed out beat. Who your homeboy? Go ahead and check him yeah, out too. Yeah, Crip Twenty Eight. Crip Twenty Eight. Okay, Crook. and how you call that? Crip. Crook. C R O O K. Okay, Twenty Eight. Yes. Is that his Instagram and everything? I think his Instagram official Crip Twenty Eight. Okay. Yeah. Stop talking. Stop. That beat is hot. That whole song is nice. Um. So you said Tricky Jetson flash out? Yeah. It should it might be a picture of two of my homeboys. The only thing that's pulling up is gnarly freestyle. No, nah, I put in just flashed out. Okay. It should be a picture of uh two of my homeboys. Cause I got this junk called Brick Talk, this little mixtape. They kinda like hosted it. It's like they was in the car one night drunk and the phone fell and was recording. They ain't know it. So they arguing and doing a bunch of crazy shit. So I just chopped some of it up and put what? it in, in the mixtape. But I still got like eight minutes left of the, you know what I mean? So I'm going to keep the chat because it, it keep going. You feel me? Yeah, I, that's crazy. Rolling for a minute. And it was like they're going through neighborhoods and everything. So that's that's creative. That yeah, right. I like that. Mm. Okay, so I got the... um. Just flashed out. Talk yeah. chapter one. Is it talk uh, chapter one? Okay, I'm gonna play that. Can you hear me? I got it like that through the whole jump. They just arguing forever. <laughs> what the hell you doing, though? I still got some of that stuff. I'm in the club, I don't know that. I'm my boy Skeezy, too, man. I my boy Burger. What up, the Ocean Blue? Welcome to the office. That's my boy. <laughs> you came in on Mr. Jackson's interview. If I'm in the I'm going to try to shoot that video. I need to be in that video. <laughs> like you too, boy, you already know. I talked to KT yesterday, too. Oh, yeah, Hello. Okay. I'll, let you know in, I'll let you know in the video. I'm going to try to shoot that joint this week. You all fuck. We're going to try to get them boys out ASAP. Pull up on me. You already know I'm at the crib. Still got that. Oh, you already know. <laughs> we trying to get them boys some lawyers now. That's 
that's my new joint. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love the flow, man. I just love how you ride. It's crazy. I was having fun on that job too. The I wrote like I wrote the I wrote that verse. I ain't write that hook or the second verse. Okay. Yes, that was. Oh flat. yeah, I'm, I'm on it. Uh, the finesse hit me with it. Just flashed out by Tricky. Y'all go check that out on you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, before I let you go, Mr. Jackson, tonight, I got a little game. It's a little fun before I let you go, just so we can get to know a little bit more about you. I'm going to give you two options and you choose one, okay? All right. All right. Collins or Feather Finn? Feather Finn. All right. Light or dark? Look at dark. Okay. Yeah, yeah dark. Or grape soda or grape soda? Say orange, great, damn. <laughs> uh, great, great. Okay. Uh, Patty or Aretha? I'm gonna say Patty. My mom was a Patty fan. <laughs> All right, and the last one is Cardi or Nikki. What, like all just overall, all together? Overall, I'm going with Nikki. All day. I fuck with Cardi right. though, but Nikki, Nikki really, Nick Cardi body shit. But I know the dude Fontaine or something. I know he be involved. You feel me? That's cool oh, yeah. though. I ain't saying nobody. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm like, you know what I mean, I ain't saying nobody involved in Nikki shit either. But I don't know. I'm, Nikki first just came out. She was just big as shit. You get what I'm saying? Like she didn't held her. She was holding it down with goddamn Wayne and Drake. You feel me? So that's, a, that's a different type of goddamn. She and Cardi ain't really had to you get what I'm saying. I want she came in there. You know how it's like LeBron, like LeBron coming there. Like Kobe, yeah, you know, that, but it's like somebody knew, so it's like you get what I'm saying. But yeah, Kobe still Kobe, Kobe. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, he's still a legend. I get what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I, fuck I, with, I fuck with Cardi though. I fuck with both of them. But Nikki, I fuck with Wayne. I told you so. God, yeah, damn, that's why Wayne. I mean, that's crazy. He put but look, uh, and Drake on that shit, crazy. It's crazy. Look, you so fun. You so fun. You just so you so Norfolk. You make me miss home so much. <laughs> 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 but look, I I because I got a little bit more I want to do before I end this live. I want to thank you so much for coming, Mister Jackson. Like, me personally, I feel like you gonna blow up one day. You gonna be you know, big. So. On, I got some new shit in the in the cut. You already know. I feel honored that I was able to get this interview because you could have said no because I feel like you a big dog right there. Nah, and I, cool, mean, man. I don't be on no weird shit. Yeah, you, you, I Some mean, man. Niggas weird. I'm telling you. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't weird though. I'm just regular. Yes, yes, yes. You the man. So I want to thank you so much. And before we lastly go, can you tell the people where to hit you up, where to go find out, find your music, if they want to do shows or anything, um, how to hit you? Yeah, uh, you can hit me mainly in my uh my email for real, Jet Set Four Twenty Eighty Nine Gmail, uh, Instagram. I got uh my music everywhere, like the songs I put out, they can be on uh Apple, Spotify, YouTube, title, all that, you feel me? Yeah. And then uh, mainly my YouTube, that's what I'm working on now. I'm just trying to put new videos out. Cause I be watching when I wake up, I be lit besides our, the music we make and listen to. When I be looking at the video, like they be having so many videos, you get what I'm saying? It be a lot of yes. them shits. I gotta have yes. you gotta have somebody attention for you get what I'm saying? That's why I gotta make yes. more shit so I can have somebody attention for even longer. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now with these videos though. But other than that, yeah, I'm still trying to run these streams up. That's my goal right now. Get more Look, listeners I'm every day. What you need to do, Jackson, is put look, let the people know, try to push the music, let them hear. Once they hear you, they're gonna be a fan. I mean, you you got it. Period. Yeah, I just gotta keep pushing it. Y'all already know. That's it. I mean, you got it. I'm talking about it's a rap. Like I gotta it's, it. it's, <laughs> I got some much more heat to make there. Oh <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, but you know I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you uh, outside of this and talk and see if there's any uh, business to collab on. But um, I thank you again for coming out. You enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe with this pandemic, Mister. Uh, yeah, Jeff. I'm in. I'm love. I'm chilling. Yeah. All, All right. right. You too. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Good night. All right. You too.
All right, viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. That was Mr. Jackson. I appreciate him coming out tonight and talking to me. That is amazing. He is an amazing artist um, from my hometown. Again, if you want to know how to go look up his music, go to Tricky Jetson on YouTube. Also, Tricky Jetson on uh, Instagram. That's T-R-I-C-K-E-Y-J-E-T-S-O-N. Amazing artist. Um, also, yes, we were waiting for Mr. Chef Tim to come on um, to give us some tips for the pandemic uh, cooking. So let's see if he can come on. Um, and if not, we're going to move on. All right. Let me just see if he's. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just. You know how I can be. You know how I can be. But yes. Um. Also, I don't know. Yes. I um. I'll also let you guys know that Angel Wing Sauce is going to be off fifty percent this month. All uh, orders. So if you can get those, definitely do that. Um. DM me. Uh, we had a subject tonight. We're going to give Mr. Uh, Chef Tim, see if he can still come in. We'll give him about uh, two minutes here to see if he can come on through. I would love for him to come talk to us this evening. I'll give him two minutes. Uh, To come through. All right. So until he comes, um, I'll go ahead and just talk tonight with our email. You know the office structure here. We talk about uh, intense things, things that uh, need to be addressed that some people don't uh, want to talk about or address, but we address it here at the office. Um, the email for this evening was. How to cope with depression during the pandemic. So, as we all know, people, uh, with this pandemic, it, is very, it has been very trying on all of us. Um, we're not as active or can't be as active as we uh, once were. As we once were, um, we don't interact with family and friends as much as we once did. Um, we don't, you know. We're not as social as we once were. Um, and with those things being said and those things being facts, um, it takes a toll on us as human beings and also with the children, little do you know. Um, and it causes depression, you know. Um, we've all dealt with it. We've all had our bouts of it. And it's, it, it can be very uh, trying. Um, so this evening, um, I'm going to come in and just talk to you guys about uh, maybe coping with depression. Now, when you're depressed, um, you don't want anybody to just come to you and just say, snap out of it. It's hard to do. You can't just snap out of it. Sometimes it's uh, deeper than just mental. It can be a hormonal, uh, chemical imbalance in your body that can uh, allow you to go through or have the feelings of depression. Um, it drains your energy. Um, it's difficult to take steps to help to feel better. Um, and uh, it's, you know, and it's, it can be exhausting and impossible to put, um, into action. So, uh, tonight, uh, I just wanted to kind of give some pointers on maybe ways that you can help cope with it. A lot of people don't like to talk about it, especially a lot of us blacks. We don't like to seem weak or vulnerable, so we don't really discuss, um, uh, depression or go to people for help when we need it. But I'm telling you people at this time, it is very imperative that you uh, recognize your feelings, embrace what you feel. Do not feel, um, do not feel ashamed. If it's something that you need help with, definitely uh, seek someone that you trust to get the help that you need and to talk about it. Um, there was uh, um, an interview and I believe this interview was, um, I probably seen it probably about a year ago, a year or two ago, and it was one of the 
programmers for Facebook. He was a, a he was one of the software programmers for Facebook. And he resigned. And he said the reason he did a panel discussion and he said the reason that he des- resigned was because he was in charge of designing Facebook and what it what he realized it did to people was called depression. When you are on these social media sites and you um see what 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 he was saying was there's a such thing as Facebook depression. They was they were saying it was um an actual thing. And it caused depression because people would look at other people's lives and try to compare their lives to other people's lives and it would cause depression. People. If I can just be of any assistance. A lot of stuff that we see on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter even, um, Periscope, whatever we're looking at, is not real. It's not reality. Please do not get caught up in this virtual. When you're looking at someone else's life and you are trying to compare their life to your life, you're already doing yourself a disservice because another person's journey is not your journey. Another person's blessings is not yours. You have to be in a place in life and you have to tell yourself and constantly encourage yourself. Your time will come. When it's your time to shine, when it's your time to be blessed with a certain uh, materialistic thing, when it's your time for something good to happen, it will happen for you. Never compare yourself to someone else's life or to someone else's journey because it is not your journey. We all live separate lives. We all uh, do different things. We all move different. We all have different personalities. So it's okay to be different. A lot of times, even as a mother, I found myself, I have to make sure that I teach my daughter um, to not compare yourself to these Insta models or these Insta dots, uh, uh, perfect boobies uh, and perfect uh, frame, body frame, and uh, hips and butts, and all of this. That's not always what it is. Sometimes they Photoshop uh, photos, and uh, sometimes, sometimes those people go get surgeries and all type of things. So, be happy with who you are. Embrace what God and the Creator has given you. Embrace your body. Embrace your personality. Embrace your aura. Embrace who you are. And if there's things you want to work on and get better at, just take those steps to uh, get better and spend your time doing that. A lot of times, us people, we get caught up in this virtual world. This is not real life. You know, we are regular people at the end of the day. No matter if there's glitz and glamour and this and that, we are people that go through real things, that have real battles and that have real issues. And, and it's okay. Everybody's not born with the best skin. Everybody's not born with a head full of hair. Everybody's not born with a big butt and breast and flat stomach and, uh, you know, straight feet. And if you're not, it's okay. You don't have to be. You are still beautiful. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. And that is what you must stand in. And some people get so caught up in the, the, the social media and the fakeness of that whole world that it can cause depression. It can cause you to make you feel like that you're not doing what you need to do or you're not in a good space in life. Or But no, make sure that you know in your head and in your heart that your journey is your journey. And long as you're waking up every day and doing the best that you can and moving forward to being the best person and best human being that you can, you're doing what you're supposed to do. Um, also, with the depression, with the pandemic and um, the way our lives have changed, um, there are things that you can do, um, even if you're not going out and being as social, that can um, help you reach out for support, and to get to a better place. Um, I was looking online at an article, um, and the article, it had some good pointers, so I want to give you guys some of this information. Um, and this was this is a subject on how to reach out for depression support. Um, you can look for support from people who make you feel safe and cared for. The person you talk to doesn't have to be able to fix you, They just need to be a good listener. Someone who'll listen attentively and compassionately without being distracted or judging you. Um, It's also saying to make FaceTime a priority. 
um, in this time, guys. Phone calls, social media, and texting are great ways to stay in touch. But don't replace good old-fashioned in-person quality time, which with now with the pandemic, that's kind of hard to do. But basically, it's saying to make sure you reach out. If you're feeling a certain type of way, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling there's no hope, if you're feeling depressed, try to reach out to someone that you trust, someone that you know you can to be a good listener. Um, and, and, and even if you don't have anyone in your life who is like that, there are support lines, there are lines, uh, telephone lines that you can call for people to talk to. Uh, Google, if you can look up uh, depression support lines, uh, prayer lines, people that can pray with you on the other end of the phone. There's always somebody out there in the world you can reach out to that will just be a listening ear. So please don't be afraid to go and find those resources um, to help you in your situation. Um, it's also saying try to keep up with activities even if you don't feel like it. Um, a lot of times when you get depressed, um, you just want to go retreat into your shell. You don't you don't want to um, really be bothered with anyone. You don't want you don't feel like doing any activities. You don't feel like um, being around people. But it's uh, a good practice to in those moments when you feel like that to make yourself get up make yourself go to an activity make yourself if it's to go walk around the neighborhood if it's to go to the grocery store if it's to go uh uh just you know meet up with a friend for some coffee or if it's to just go um do anything that can just get you out of a funk you have to make yourself do it if it's to go exercise um you know anything that you like to do if it's to do some makeup uh work on a mannequin do some hair on a mannequin doll um anything that can just make you get out of your funk and take your uh focus off of the depression that is a um also a good activity to do um oftentimes a lot of times when you're down in a funk helping other people can help boost you and can help keep you um motivated so uh, sometimes it's good to maybe go out and volunteer or if you can find um, uh, something in your community where that can need your help to volunteer and help uplift someone else or make them better, that's a good way to get uh, take your mind off of what you may be going through in your depression. Um, it's saying that it's good to have a pet, um, looking to get a pet, something that you can care for, um, you know, something that you can um, build an emotional connection with. Um, that's said to be uh, helpful also because um, pets can bring joy and companionship into your life and help you feel less isolated. Pet caring for a pet can also get you outside of yourself and give you a sense of being needed, both powerful antidotes to depression. Oh, my earring. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm a believer of that. Uh, I'm not big, big on animals, but if that's what you think will help you feel better, definitely don't be afraid to go um, look into getting you a pet. Um, there's also um, giving the advice of join a support group for depression. Being with others dealing with depression can go a long way in reducing your sense of isolation. You can also encourage each other, give and receive advice on how to cope and share your experiences. A lot of times, just knowing that someone is going through the same thing you're going through helps your situation. So please, at the end of the day, do not be afraid to reach out. If you don't want to reach out to people around you, find a support group in your community. Find a support group virtually or anything. If you can Google, uh, find a support group where you can talk to other people that are going through exactly what you're going through and you guys can help uplift each other. Um, Okay, and it's uh, things that you can do that make you feel good. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on things you can do to make you feel good to help you um, cope with the depression and not make it worse. Um, one of the things they have is to do things you enjoy or used to, or used to enjoy. It will be extremely hard when you feel in that way to really do things that you enjoy, but it, it's something that you have to force yourself to do. You have to force yourself to experience that pleasure. You have to force yourself to do those things that you don't feel like doing. It can help uh, definitely make your situation and your feelings a lot better. Um, you can pick a hobby, pick a sport. 
Um, something that I've told myself uh, to, that I'm going to do here with this pandemic as it gets colder um, is to do arts and crafts. If you have um, something that you've been wanting to make or something that you're interested in doing, um, indulge more into, you know, some things that you've been wanting to do. Arts and crafts is one. If you like to read, um, go ahead and pick you up or try to find a way to get through, get you that good novel or book that you've been wanting to read. Um, things like that can help get your mind off of the negative uh, aspects. Um, it's saying to get eight hours of sleep. That's uh, to help with depression. Um, this is from someone that's an expert, so we'll take that and say if you have, um, if you're not getting rest, that can definitely uh, make the depression worse. So you definitely want to. I'll say this: get rest. Make sure you rest. Um, you want to keep your stress in check. Not only does stress prolong and worsen depression, but it can also trigger it. Figure out all the things in your life that stress you out, such as work overload, money problems unsupportive relationships and find ways to relieve the pressure and regain control. Um, and also one of the techniques is saying to help with depression is practice relaxation techniques. A daily relaxation practice can help relieve symptoms of depression, reduce stress and boost feelings of joy and well-being. Try yoga, deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation or meditation. I know one good um, site to go on if you want to, uh, if you're a beginner for yoga or you want to find good meditation practices, you can go on YouTube. They have a lot of videos up there of people um, that are uh, doing yoga classes for beginners that are doing a meditation technique that people can do. So that's a good place to go um, if you want to um, find ways to help meditate and relax. Okay. Let's go down here. Tip three is to get moving, guys. When you're depressed, just getting out of bed can seem like a daunting task, let alone working out. But exercise is a powerful depression fighter. And one of the most important tools in your recovery arsenal, research shows that regular exercise can be effective as meditation for relieving depression symptoms. It also helps prevent relapse once you're well. So, yes, make yourself get moving, guys. With the pandemic, it's hard. Like I said, we used to be able to go out to eat, go to the movies, you know, go to a gathering, a get-together. But now you have to find other creative ways. Go work out. You know, go sit on your patio. Uh, go, you know, maybe go on a hike. Uh, you know, go down by a lake if you have a lake in your area or your neighborhood. Or maybe, uh, I don't know if people can go to the park. But, um just walking. Make yourself get up and move. You know, there's ways you can do um, exercises in your home, around your home. Uh, definitely look into those things. Uh, let's see some other tips for you guys. This is an important tip here that helps. Get a daily dose of sunlight. Sunlight, 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 people. Vitamin D. Sunlight gives our body vitamin D. If your body is lacking vitamin D, you will feel down, you will feel droopy, you will feel depressed. So even no matter what and how you feel, you have to make yourself go outside and get some sunlight. And that will make you feel a lot better. Um, it's saying sunlight can help boost uh, serotonin levels and improve your mood. Whenever possible, get outside during daylight hours and expose yourself to the sun for at least 15 minutes a day. Remove sunglasses but never stare directly at the sun and use sun, sunscreen as needed. So it's like, you know, take a walk um, and get yourself moving. Those things will definitely help. With the winter blues, it's cold outside. It makes you want to stay inside more, but you have to find a way to get outside and get you some sunlight. Um, we have the tip six. You have to challenge your negative thinking. It says here, do you feel like you're powerless or weak? The bad things happen and there's not much you can do about it. That your situation is hopeless. Depression puts a negative spin on everything, including the way you see yourself and your expectations for the future. You have to stop worrying. What will be, will be. Do what you can and what you can't do and what you can't control, don't worry. Don't worry about it. You just have to let it go. Um, 
Now, sometimes with depression, I will say this. It's a chemical thing. And if you feel like you've done all these things and you've tried a lot of things, you tried different things and nothing's getting better, that's when it's time to probably go talk to a professional and get some professional uh, help and advice. Your life, your mental health is worth everything. If that is not good and it's not on point, it will affect you and it will affect your life and ultimately it can bring you down. Um, don't be afraid to ask for help when it comes to depression. Um, and so that is um, just my little uh, speech for you guys, uh, my advice to help you guys cope through depression. I know in this pandemic, a lot of people more than ever, the suicide rates are high, depression levels are high, divorce rates are high. It's hard because we're all in the house. Uh, our lives have been stripped and taken from us, uh, especially our kids, our teenagers, our young adults. They're going through it the most, guys, because they used to have healthy social lives, and now they're forced to be less active and less social. And so be mindful of those around you. If you have someone that you live with, friends, family, and you can help cheer them up and, and, and put them in a good mood or give an encouraging word, be sure to um, do that and um, don't hesitate to help those around that you feel may need help. We all have to encourage each other during this time, during this pandemic. We all have to be there for each other. Our community um, must help each other. It's not the government that should come in and help. It's the community. We have to help each other, family, friends. Um, so that's all I have to say for you guys. Um, uh, with the office, um, I'm probably not going to come as often as I did before. It'll probably be maybe every two weeks or so. I want to get some content for you guys, uh, trying to build some um, some guests to come in and speak. Um, and so, you know, but uh, I definitely want to keep the show going and, uh, as a platform to say things that uh, need to be said or to have conversations um and uh, things like that. So uh, thank you so much for you guys that have joined the office tonight. All of you that have tuned in, all of the viewers, um, thank you so much. Um, and continue to be safe out there. Continue to help lift each other up. Continue to be positive. Continue to pray. And uh, that's it for the office tonight. I'm clocking out.